it's me Paul Nealon and I'm here to react to the news that Vera Pau has not been offered a new contract with the FAI have been taken charge of the team since September 2019. She led us to our first ever major tournament in the World Cup when we beat Scotland in that playoff and qualified for the World Cup and then we obviously went on to play in the World Cup. We were, Albeit we were out of the, out of the World Cup after two games um, we had a ridiculously hard group and I think that went to show when the other teams went into the knockout stages is that we more than held our own but I think a lot of people felt as though if Vera had taken the shackles off our team at certain points that we possibly could have got results better than what we did. I'm on the fence about that. I do think um, like players like Katie McCabe and stuff like that does belong further up the pitch but I don't think she had an option of a player that she felt like she could really trust to play in Katie's position to allow Katie to move up um, higher. But... Um, and then, you know, there, there's obviously all that stuff, the allegations and everything like that was building up and the players didn't really want the, the extra hassle of having all of that. It was an unnecessary distraction. Some of them felt as though, um, especially coming into a World Cup, all the talk was about Vera and um, the allegations and will she get a contract? And then not a lot of it was on the football. And obviously we shared that clip of Katie McCabe, very uh, annoyed as though, you know, Nobody really focused on the football. It was all just to do with um, contracts, allegations, and just, yeah, headliney stuff. But um, in terms of her record, obviously, she got us to the World Cup, and I felt as though she really brought uh, the Irish team along um, in terms of standards and stuff like that. She organized a lot of friendlies for us to take on the better teams, and I think that really improves the team, to be honest with you. Um, I do think in some ways it's harsh, but at the end of the day, um, I'm sure there's there's reasons behind it. Um, she, I think she seems to be not getting along with players and stuff like that. And I think once you lose the dressing room, like that's hard to get it back. Um, Eileen Gleeson and Tom Elms seem to be taking over in a caretaker capacity. I know Elms was the uh, assistant to Vera Powell as well. So not that much would change. Just Eileen would basically be coming in for the two games. Um, I think it's Northern Ireland and Hungary. And then we see where we go from there. But I do think that... Uh, a lot of people are annoyed online and a lot of people are kind of happy as well. So it seems to be a real 50-50 split of people who are happy she's gone because they feel like the shackles would be off. And then there's a lot of people who think, look, she got us to our first World Cup. We should have more respect. And, and, and a lot of people think she got shafted. This is, you know, our Instagram and Facebook comments have been flooded since we posted about Vera's, um, I'm not going to say sacking, but her, her not getting offered a new contract. Um it is it's a sad way to end because obviously she got us to the world cup the homecoming was really nice and stuff like that but again it's a results business and obviously we didn't get any big results in the world cup we got the draw against nigeria of course but uh it was too little too late at that point and i felt as though um the writing was on the wall when she came out in the press conference and started kind of outing players like katie mccabe i don't think you can do that to your captain and i don't think maybe from the other point of view people are saying about Katie on the pitch or whatever I didn't see the situation back but I do know yeah she did let roar at her as if to say come on we'll try and win this game because I do think Nigeria were there for the taking in that game so there's a part of me that kind of agrees with Katie but like I've been a football player myself and sometimes you just get frustrated at your manager if if they're not listening to you I don't think it was anything more than that really like I'm sure um I'm sure Katie has respect for Vera and stuff like that, but it's kind of been public knowledge that she wasn't going to get offered a new contract. I certainly knew a few weeks ago um, by being told by people kind of in the know that she wasn't going to get offered a contract and it was just a matter of time before this. So, like, the FAI made a decision tonight, but I think the decision was already made a few weeks back. And, yeah, look, um, I think a lot of people should just wish Vera well. I hope she goes on to, to get another managerial job soon and i think a lot of the irish people embraced her she obviously came out and, and shared her struggles in the past and i think the irish people really embraced her for that and then um yeah i think uh, a, a lot of the irish public got behind the irish team and got behind vera so i do think um she deserves a lot of respect and a, a good send-off for getting us to the world cup and, and giving um a team of girls a, a you know a reason to believe and uh spe definitely inspiring another generation of uh, girls coming up now as well so i do think she deserves a lot of praise and a lot of respect for that and i hope she does um anytime i've ever met her she was always nice and respectful so yeah i hope that uh 
she feels appreciated by, I suppose, Ireland as a nation. And I know she felt a lot of love from the Irish public. So long may that continue. And, and I hope that anytime she's, she comes back to Ireland that she's greeted nicely. And um, yeah, look, as I say, sometimes these things, uh, they naturally part ways. And that seems to be the case here. Um, so want to wish, want to wish, I sound like I'm Swedish. Want to wish uh, Vera Pau all the very best uh, in her career. And uh, yeah, it's a shame it ended this way, but that's life. And um, I'm sure she will, ha- she will get another job, no problem somewhere else um it's a shame obviously then the way it did as i said but let us know what you think in the comments and don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe i'll speak to you all later thanks for watching